Okay, good afternoon everyone. How was lunch? Oh, I think we should do a better round of applause for our sponsors. How was lunch? So I'd like for everybody to take a seat, and we'll get started for the afternoon. I forgot to announce earlier today that this is actually a Vietnamese conference. <laughs> it's funny because then I was looking at all the speakers and I go, wait a minute, there are a lot of Vietnamese people here. It wasn't intentional. These are friends and they come from across industries. Um, obviously, you know, Nathan and Glenville are, are dentists, but a lot of the other friends come from across the industry. So it is my honor to introduce to you Mozabella. She was born and raised in Vietnam, and she's living and working in the US. Moza has de devoted passion for helping professional women to reach their highest level of potential success. Moza is a licensed registered nurse, and she has an MBA. Everybody say, whoa. A BS in linguistics? and over 24 years of experience in entrepreneurship. As a business consultant, she brings life not only to her genuine passion and mission of helping others, but also the diverse cultural and professional background enriched with 15 years of experience in media, including being featured on NHK Japan, media as a peace ambassador. So Moza is very, very generous I asked her to be my MC, so she just said, okay. And I, th I think we have never heard each other speak before, so that was a brave move on both of us. <laughs> and so, how is she doing as, a, as an MC? Yeah. Awesome, right? So I want to make sure that everyone is paying attention. So I asked her to start her talk with a catwalk. So, <laughs> please welcome Moza Bella. Thank you, everyone. I don't know how to catwalk. Well, first of all, this is my honor to be here today. How about all of the speakers we had this morning? Yeah. Right? Amazing, amazing. So I was thinking, I was looking. Emily said, OK, Moza, you're going to speak. I said, great. Everybody just had a great lunch, had a full stomach, sleepy, and here I'm talking. Right? Um, but I'm, I know that we have limited amount of time and we have more amazing speakers after me for the whole day today. So I just want to make sure that um, it's going to be quick. Now, I may not have enough time to go through all of um, the slides, but I want to make sure that I get to the point. Is that OK? Yeah. OK. So here I was trembling on the edge of a cliff. The horizon in front of me was dark. One step forward, I would fall into the darkness. And I turned around, nobody was there. So I asked myself, what was the reason for me to continue to live? I have no families, no children, no cats and no dogs. <laughs> my marriage ended at the same time that my father died. So profusely bleeding from those two deep wounds, I moved as far as I could. I moved to another state to run away from the pain. Then I met another great person. My heart started to heal. Then shortly he died for cancer. At that point, certainly, I saw a vision of my parents. So. My parents, they grew up during Vietnam War. During that time, there was no options, no opportunities for life advancement. Limited resources, you're thinking about fear, insecurity, uncertainty. And when the war ended, um, all the living and working in a communist, com a communist country, they gave me the best education and the best 15 years of ballet dancing and performing. 
So suddenly, I was wondering, they gave me the best childhood, but did they ever have a chance to live their dreams? Do I even know what their dreams are? My dad already died. I can't just die. It's my responsibility to continue his legacy and to take care of my mother. You see, some immigrants came here to the United States with the families. Some joined their family members. I was here alone. My family, my parents worked very hard to send me here for better opportunities, to have what they did not have, the human rights. I took six courses per semester and worked full time maintaining my, my A grades. I don't know about you know, all the Asian here, but if, you, if I had a B, my, uh, a B plus, it was a failed class. It has to be all A's, right? Um, and uh, pay all my bills, pay my tuitions. Um, I never had enough food or clothes. The only thing I had was my determination. That's the only thing I had. And I'm, I'm sure that all other speakers here could share that as well. So today, I am a world traveler and speaker. Um, I own, you know, a few businesses. I am a co-author of a best-selling book. But most importantly, I live my purpose every day. Moza is my name, is a mother of pearl. Every woman, I believe, how many women we have in here? Yes, every woman is a uniquely beautiful pearl that needs to shine through the darkness of mediocrity. I work with professional women to help them to get out of their underlying emotional distress and work toward achieving the highest level of fulfillment. Because then and only then, they can live their best life and live their super life. So, how to create a super life? And how many of you want to live your best life? or you just want to be average, right? So we, want, we all want to live a super life. So there are seven categories, and I'm not gonna go through all of them because we already have other great speakers talk about them. Today, I am going to share with you only two key components to, posi to position yourself to your super life. You create your own super life. You design it the, the way you want, but two key components. It starts with a passion. Everybody has a passion in your heart. And you see all of the speakers up here. Dr. Emily, as well. What's your passion when you're reconnecting with your passion? You nurture that relationship with yourself, right? So think about it. When you were a little girl or little boy, what is it that you enjoy doing the most? What activity? Go back there and think about it. And second question, when you were a child, what was the most proud moments? Think about it. This is something that you, know, you may want to think about it later on today because we don't have time to do it today. But that would be something that when I work on a workshop, I would leave some music and I would let my uh, audience, they have some time to work about it. Think about it. Bring you back to your childhood, right? Some women that I worked with, when I asked them those questions, they said, Moza, I don't even know what my passion is. It's been too long. I don't even know. Now, reconnecting with your passion, why is it important? Because it allows you to reach deeper into your soul and know what lights you up. Oprah Winfrey said that passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you, right? Because excitement brings fulfillment. As little kids, everybody was so excited, right? Remember, anything could be, you know, exciting. Now we adults, we don't feel excited anymore. You know, you bought a new car, you feel great for like two, two seconds, and that's it. No excitement. We need to bring ourselves back to that excitement because that's when you feel the fulfillment. Number two, recreation. You saw those categories. And I just want to talk about recreation. Why is it is important? 
we live in a full in a world full of responsibilities, right? You have husbands, you have children, you have elderly parents, you have the in-laws, you have your co-workers, you have your friends, you name it. And then you have distractions. You have the negativities, you have the people that say no's all the time, and you have social media. All of those take you away from what you really want for yourself. As women, we, I myself included, tend to put everybody else needs as the priorities, and we will become you know, at the bottom of the barrel. Time for recreation is a must for you to nurture the, that relationship with yourself. So I met Kim at one of uh, the events like this, and she is a mother of two, uh, married. Her husband and herself run a business together, a construction business together for like 27 years. She cooked, she um, took care of everybody, but she never had time for herself, right? A great woman. Um, and when I worked with her, she told me all the things that she wanted to do, and when I encouraged her, she said, no, I just don't have time. So I had to work with her husband to create some time that said, okay, you know what, you have to help me, Kim. I need to go to the place that you want to go, and we had to kind of plan it out, and we did it, right? But most importantly, it's not for me. I actually, I was just in the back, in the back seat, and I just want for her to go and just have her hair done the way that she wanted to get done. So she had long hair, brown, long hair, and when she got out of the salon, she had short hair, curly, red. That's what she wanted, and she looked like a totally different woman, beautiful, vibrant. And when you saw, and I have goosebumps, you saw the look of the husband and herself. They fell in love again. And to me, that was precious. And that was just the beginning, right? So we're talking about the whole journey. But um, life, okay, live as though today is your last day. And why is that? As a nurse, I've worked, um, as a nurse on, you know, take care of patients. I worked in the past, not nowadays, for more than 10 years taking care of patients. All of the patients, you know, people from all walks of life, you're talking about doctors, become my patients, you talk about judges, you're talking about attorneys and teachers, right? Every day, I looked into their eyes while listening to what they had to share. They share with me about things that they wish that they could have done. If only they had more time. Right? So the time to live is now. All of the successful people. Oh, and one more thing that I would like to mention is that what is it, think about it, what is it that you would like to, to be remembered for? If today was my last day, ladies and gentlemen, I would be so happy. I'll be so happy. I get to spend time with all of you here. I got to learn from great people. I feel happy. I do exactly what I want to do for my life today. Right? Now, what is it that you would like to be remembered for? It's very important. It's not about the money. What is it that is the most important thing to you that you would like for people to say, okay, that's John, Dr. Emily. She is what? If it's just one word, what would that be? Successful people are willing to invest in learning how to, how to compress time, knowledge, and wisdom because they want to get to where they want to be fast, right? Because the, 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 because the time to live is now. You picture a day, you just picture a day when you just wake up. You wake up when you're done sleeping. It's not because the alarm just went off, right? And you wake up, feel energized with a beautiful smile on your face. Picture a day when your best friend, your girlfriend would come to you and say, girl, I don't know what you've done, but you look vibrant and younger than ever, right? Picture a day that you can do whatever you want, whenever you want, with whomever you want to do it with. That's ultimate freedom. You are just one decision away. Whatever this, the decision is, talk to these people, talk to Dr. Emily, talk to who, whenever, and you know, fill out that form, whatever. You're just one decision away. 
regardless if we are going to be working together or not, I'm going to leave you with this. You can, only, you can always make more time. You, I'm sorry. You can make more money, but you cannot make more time. Life is a gift. It's up to you to make it the best gift for yourself and for others. Right? So I hope that you choose to shine. I hope you choose to live your best life, your super life. Someone out there is enjoying a life of wealth and fulfillment. Why can't you? My name is Moza. It's my honor to be here, and I'm sending you so much love. Oh, stay. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are wonderful. What? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> you know what, my secret? I never took that IQ test. Because if I did, I would be very disappointed at myself. <laughs> wait, 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 where are you going? Stay with me. How is Moza? Yeah. What happened to the catwalk that I already promised? Oh my god, I can't do it. Yes, you can. Look at that dress. Go, go, go. Seriously? Okay. How do I do it? You remind me some music. Put the thing up. Yeah, can, you, can I have some music? Maybe no music. Okay. Music, music. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh ladies, we're talking about movement. Talk to me. There you go, show us some movement please. No, no, it's, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something that is, you know. Ballerina is different thing, you know, as adults we the thing that's move different differently. about a verbal vacation home. Oh, you always that? have the That's not music. Go, 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 go. Every time you come around, you know I can't say no. Every time the sun goes down, I let you take control. Okay, that's it. I didn't get paid for that. <laughs> I gave you a free lunch. Yes, you go. I have a dollar.